the show camaraderie to my local sparrow flock, I dressed up like a sparrow and I went, a chirp, a chirp, chirp! They descended on me like a swarm of angry bees. Apparently, that was the worst slur you could say in the sparrow language. I learned some things today. Things aren't always what they seem. Mother 3 is not life. But now I'm a chicken. Welcome back to Dream Maze, the Kigurumi adventure. Previously, a gyroid fellow told me to go get a wooden doll. And now I have fire powers. This chicken suit is one of the best suits for this first dungeon. The stats are pretty good, and you get that fire attack. Which, um, small enemies just can't seem to get away from. In fact, if they're standing on the ground, they're pretty much doomed. And I forgot where the beanstalk is, because the wooden doll isn't on this floor. It's on the floor under us. It's on the fourth floor. I might as well just go ahead and grab the map here anyway. You know, just for the heck of it. I've been farming candy, why the heck not? I'm gonna be getting lots of candy because of, um, my fire attack ability. Now Punk Mallard is gone. He got the memo from the gyroid. It said, hey, somebody's gonna get a wooden doll. Get out of the way. Don't you have other places to be? And there we go. Key item, wooden doll. That gyroid is gonna be so happy. And I'm gonna be really happy when I get this. The HP Maximizer. Increases my HP by 10 on anybody I use it on. And that's going to be me. I'm tanking for myself right now. I'm taking my own damage. I need that HP. These other rooms, though, they have conversations in them, but the NPCs like to repeat things that happened on other floors. So it's not a huge big deal. They're not saying anything important. Nothing that I'm not telling you already. Okay, Gyroid, I got your wooden doll, but hold on a second, I gotta show some things off. Hi, Mikhail, get out of the way, I'm trying to show something. He is selling coffee, though. Coffee is a better, better chocolate. And that'll help you heal in battles a lot better. But this area is locked. We need the key at the end of this tower to go there. Also, there's an item in here, and in that previous room I went through. This happens to be a present! I'm not entirely sure what presents are supposed to do, but... I got to a secret room at the end of the game, and they said you get something special for finding all the presents. I didn't find all the presents! In fact, I kind of missed one already. It's on the fourth floor behind a... Um, not a fourth floor. The first floor, hidden behind a fake wall. And that is the heat wave. That'll do fire damage to every enemy on the screen. But only as much as my chicken body will be able to do. Speaking of which, have some chicken fire. In the dreamland, chicken fries you. I bet they're a little miffed about the whole being food thing. How did that come about, anyway? Did someone just say, hey, I just found this weird bird, how about we eat it? Okay, good, I have a wooden doll. He just wanted to make sure of that. He just wanted to make sure I had a wooden doll. Okay, we get it. You like battles. I don't like battles that much. I'm kind of, um... I'm on the fence about battles. So let's not do this right now. Would you guys stop kicking me in the face? I would appreciate it. These birds are rude! They're being rude to me! Why are they rude? They're bully birds. I don't like them. Luckily I had all this candy on hand. I could heal myself to 900 HP. Man, I wish this game had an overheal. That would be pretty cool. And this is how I get more candy. This is how I farmed. I just shot fire at people. Now we're done with half of this dungeon already. Do you see off to the west there? There's some blue doors. Let's check those out real quick. Right over here. Blue doors mean jail cells. So this is where to keep all the prisoners. It's like Egg Lana. Why did I have to say egg? I'm dressed like a chicken right now, and it's ridiculous. There is something to the south here that I could really use. It's just a hidden item in a room. It's not really that hidden. I guess every item in this game is hidden because it doesn't appear until you actually step on it. You practically have to trip over the thing to find it. Okay, I get it. Were you guys just waiting in here? Huh, we didn't hear from Bob and Doug for a while. I wonder what happened. Oh, right, they got set on fire. 
sometimes the battles in this game just get a little bit ridiculous. But just a little bit. Not too much. Ah, a luck up. I don't know what luck does, really. But it does increase it by 10, so I'm using that on myself, thank you. So now I have more luck. One of the one stats that aren't governed by a costume. There's no such thing as a punch up or a kick up or a defense up. Those things like turn, punch, and agility, they just raise it for a little while. It's a temporary thing. These ups that I'm finding are permanent. Oh right, wrong beanstalk. I have to go behind this beanstalk to get to the next floor. There's some cause, uh, other conversations here, and there's also pumpkins! Hey, we got costumes and pumpkins! Halloween is arriving early this, this year. And we also got that bear fellow in the middle. The chief on. Panda and trousers. Well, I guess those will qualify as suspenders, too. Why don't any of these animals wear shirts? They're always wearing pants! If you don't need shirts, then you don't need pants, either. I'm just gonna go ahead and take him. Because I think he has better stats. And I'm gonna be doing some costume combining in the next video. Yeah, he has better punch, kick, and defensive power. No, well, speaking of which, I think I should move out some space. Seeing him, he's not that great. Oscar is terrible. I'm keeping the Sparrow costume because it's a present. Okay? I don't like de-gifting. I like re-gifting. Using the same gift over again several times, it's recycling! The sparrows, they have a... They have a pouch on their bellies. Why? Are they Kanga sparrows? Sparrows? Did they keep their egg in there? Is that how they procreate in this plushy world? Did they keep their eggs in their pouch? I have lots of questions. Where am I, anyway? Oh, right! We're on floor 7 now. We got some more jail cells off to the west. We can't go into those unless we have a jail key. Which is gonna take a little while. So, we're gonna be coming back here sooner than later. There's conversations in here, though. And they're not repeatable ones. They're talking about Akumu! You see, a horse has it right. The horse is not wearing anything. Horse is just horse. Horses with the program. Ah, the legendary Kigurumi. I finished this game and I haven't found anything that was called the legendary Kigurumi. It was just there's uh there's some A class ones at the very end. And they're pretty good, but I wouldn't say they're legendary. And Oscar knew that I called him useless, so he's out in force with the mole butter the mole brothers. Hey, stay still when I'm trying to punch you! Bad raccoon thing. Now you die. How am I punching anyway in, in this chicken suit? His arms can't seem to conceivably fill up the space that they're filling up. It's too small. It's is this is his like elbows or are they like scrunched together and his elbows are sticking out? And and that's how he's punching is he's like elbow jabbing them? I know the kicking thing would actually be pretty effective, because I'm pretty sure they're made out of, like, hard plastic or something, but... Yeah, the Queen. Maybe the Queen has the answers to my punching question. I'm gonna wear this suit in front of her, I'm gonna say, how does this work? Oh boy, aren't you a terrible raccoon person? That's a real tanuki. And these are real kid pigs! I skipped the dialogue too fast, I'm a little impatient now. The last time I recorded this video... I forgot that the computer suddenly forgot where its speakers were, and I had no sound. So I'm doing it again, so now I'm a little bit impatient. And when I get impatient, pigs become bacon. Mmm, delicious. Now, if you could just wait, uh, I have to go to the bathroom and, you know, lay an egg. It's personal, okay? Don't go down there anymore, because that's, um, that's blocked off. And I think I know why the elevator isn't working now. That guy was growing beanstalks all over. Probably messed with some kind of wiring. Just saying. Alright, did you notice there was a small room down in the, the last floor that just had a map room in it? It was all isolated? You could get there from here, but it's not worth it. It's not worth it. There's an easier map, map room on the seventh floor to get. If it's an old, small enemy, 
And uh, I'm just going to cut those out from now on. I'm just going to be using my fire attack to kill them in one shot anyway. Oh, hi, McKay. How are you, how are you doing today? He's selling luck-ups now for 500. I don't have nearly enough for that. And luck isn't that important to my stats anyway. Yeah, thank you. You were a cat. That's great on you. I'm just getting a map. Also, maybe I should have a conversation in here, too. There's a conversation over to the right. It's like three rooms down. What a genuine and helpful conversation that was. Squirrel is lost. We need to know this. This is important for the story. Ah, I mean, I took the wrong door. There's not much else here. Changing room. There's a, a tool shop off to my east, right next to the uh, the beanstalk to get out of here. But all they are is like uh, static McHales. All they do is stock the same items. You just don't. You just know where they are instead of appearing randomly. How did I get up here? This is what I get for rambling. Yeah, there's the way out. I really want to get to the end of this dungeon today. There's some more things I have to do, but I need the key at the top of this dungeon to do them. Ah, this is a new room. Look at that. It's a peace sign. And also there's a little isolated part on the index finger. I'm gonna have to check that out. But I'm gonna have to go to the 10th floor to do that. And there's a president here that I'm definitely gonna be getting. I hope I didn't skip any more presents. Let me take a look. All oh, right, there's one on the sixth floor, but it's locked. So as of right now, I'm not skipping any presents except for that one behind the fake wall on the first floor. Yay, more presents. I don't know what they do, but I enjoy opening presents and getting presents. I open a present box to get a present box. Don't think too hard on that one. You know what, I'm kind of a little lost now. Ah, there it is. It's right there. I bet that's the magic carpet, which is broken. But we're going to be fixing that today. Welcome to the 10th floor! Right now, we're going to be heading up this way. Not only does it lead us to getting an item on that index finger, but also it'll help us to uh, get to the princess faster. In fact, it's the only way to the princess. You know what? These are stuffed animals. Can't she just... How strong can they be? They're stuffing and fabric. I'm pretty sure if I wasn't wearing this suit, I could punch a lot harder than they do. But for some reason, they decided to throw me into a giant stuffed animal suit. It doesn't make sense, but then again, we're in a tower made out of cake. We're in the vanilla layer right now. Mmm, vanilla. Right underneath it is chocolate, though, so if you cut too deep, then you're gonna be... You're gonna have a bad time. Unless you like chocolate. HP maximizer. Hooray! 120 HP! I could use fire 12 times. Oh, wait, another treasure chest? Sure. Oh, no! If you find a treasure chest you found before and open it, it's a box of surprises now. And that's all it'll ever be. You can't farm your items from that chest. Also, I walked past the conversation. A conversation with butterflies. Nah, that's what you get for being a small stuffed animal. Let the big stuffed animals take care of this problem. I could go and activate that elevator switch. I could go to the east and I could fix that, but I don't want to fix it. I don't feel like fixing it. Oh hey! Pentagons! Not the military kind. The penguin kind. They're actually weak against fire, which is really helpful for me. And they drop a whole bunch of candy, too. I love having candy. Okay, I get it. You're penguins. Fantastic. They just wanted a double dose of fire. It's strange and foreign to them, being of the Arctic variety. Alright, good. Great. I'm glad I got assaulted by penguin. There's a tool shop right down there if you need it. But I don't need it. Hi, Mikhail! You're standing on a trap! Why aren't you spinning around like crazy? Yeah, there's a trap right in front of me. And it spins you around! It's the spinny floor! It tries to disorient you. 
And this is the moving floor. It glitches out your map like crazy. And then it just basically auto-walks you to a new part of the area. In fact, I think that's the only moving floor in the whole game. And it leads us to this little structure. And I was really hoping this guy would show up. The Pekka Pen. You know what? It's weird. There's a chicken called Cockadoodle, there's a sparrow called Sparrowface, there's Oscar, but some of these other suits, they just have, um, they have, like, Japanese-like names, like this guy. His name is Pekka Pen. And he has a, a pretty good stats on his suit, so I want him. Oh, he's a little bit durable. I was expecting him to explode by now. But no, he's explosion resistant. I'm gonna kick to the face, good sir. Bingo! I hit you right between the eyes. That's what you get. Not a lot of candy, but I do get him. So, Cheapon has great punch and kick, but this guy has fantastic defense. And a bit more agility. Eh, uh, I really want to combine those suits together to make something great for that next tower. I don't think I'm gonna be able to do that today, though. I mean, it's 16 minutes in already, and we haven't even saved the princess yet. We're just getting assaulted by penguinies. It's the Pinguini brothers, they're back from Carol Blaster. Where's their little train cart thing? Maybe that's why they turned evil. Akuma promised them a new, faster kind of train cart. It has cup holders and an MP3 player. Alright, I know better. We're gonna be doing that later. I can't advance any further, I've ran into a boss battle. What is gone? I don't know what's gone. He's speaking in broken English, I don't like that. It's the Amazing Chicken Brothers! Well, they're going to be destroyed by my fiery might. I'm the top of the pecking order around here. That's right. This attempt is gonna lay an egg. It won't be sunny side up for you and it won't be over easy either. Yes, I'm done now. As you can tell, the minions are a little bit stronger than uh, their leader. If you noticed, I could destroy those minions really easily in one fire attack. But no! We have to use three fire attacks to take care of these minions. The minions are the real boss here. He's just kind of a figurehead. In fact, he used to be a Tweet Tweet, but he grew up a little faster than his brothers. That's my cannon, and I'm sticking to it because this game doesn't have a lot of its own. And this uh, Cockadoodle is going to be joining them in Chicken Heaven. You know what? I changed my mind now. I'm going to keep him. I'm going to use his body for something. And no, not that way. Ew! Gross! No, I was going to do something like the Romans. You know, send a message to them. Because he's not much more powerful than a regular Cockadoodle. Same stats, all around. And this is the princess! I have a question, why aren't you wearing some kind of weird animal suit? Like, um... What would fit royalty? A lion? An eagle? A unicorn? She's going to the wishing room now. She's gonna take care of Akuma's curse. And I could go to the other towers using the exit key. There's also a few rooms in this tower I could open with that exit key too. Thank you! I wonder what that wishing room thing's all about. I think she's just gonna go there and she's gonna say, I wish I wasn't saved by a guy with a chicken suit. Ah, the other princesses won't let that down. Now we are in the topmost part of this area. Well, the top right part of this area. There's a little labyrinth in here. And David Bowie's gonna be in here going, Dance, magic, dance! Have you heard about the babe? The babe with the firepower! And that's when everybody stops, because they're now on fire and they're running around screaming. No one's dancing during that number. There's only one reason why I went to the labyrinth. To play some video games! That's the elevator switch. It is a video game console. An arcade top console thing. Oh, Japan. You can't operate elevators like that. Here's Deceased Crab! Huzzah! Actually, this is more like, a uh, stuffed crustacean. Yeah, it's his cousin. 
and he's really weak against kicks. Sadly, he's a loner because he's crabby. Now the next time on Dream Maze, we're going to be getting out of here using the elevators. And also, I think I'm stuck in this labyrinth now. But yeah, we have a few more things to do. I'm going to show you how to mix costumes. Yes, you heard me correctly, we can mix the stats of our costumes. It's one of my favorite parts of this game. Good night, folks.